And with the third pick in the draft, Felcher and Sons selects Courtney Kate, linebacker. It's not that we think Terry's lost a step, far from it. We simply took the best athlete available at our position in the draft. Terry who? Look, man, I ain't playing a name game up in here. There's a reason why Mr. Felcher chose me in the first round. I'm an impact player. Do I look worried to you? Man, ain't nobody downsizing this. I'm done when I say I'm done. Besides, a little healthy competition in the workplace never hurt anybody. Woo! You got mail, baby! Woo! To be honest, there was a bit of a learning curve before Terry and Courtney were fully able to appreciate their working relationship. I'll knock your ass out all day! Where's your food truck, baby? But after some initial friction... No, Mr. Bennett! No, Mr. Bennett! Who ruined that? Who ruined it? Who no, ruined it? Who ruined it? Who ruined it? Terry and Courtney were able to find a mutual, results-based respect. <laughs> Damn, Ronald! You know this key belongs to a reception. The restroom's a privilege, not a right, punk! Nice play, baby. But once Terry and Courtney realized we're all on the same team here at Felcher and Sons, everything gelled. And it's true what they say. There's only one thing better than having a linebacker in your office, and that's having two linebackers in your office. Whoa, baby, yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Sadly, due to recent salary cap restrictions imposed by the league, we could only keep one of our office linebackers. And though Courtney certainly showed the raw talent for the position, well, let's just say mistakes were made. Ah! Oh, Timmy, Timmy, Timmy. You can't come up in here dressed like that, son. This ain't club man, baby. But it's casual Friday. What's up, y'all? Damn. So we reassigned Courtney to Felcher and Sons Europe, where he'll get more playing time to improve his skill set. Morgan, Helga. Atum, baby. The one thing we did learn through this process, however, is that there's only one Terry Tate, and we're lucky to have him. Hey, John, how are you, huh? That ain't your cake, Philip. That's the moon's cake. You eat someone else's cake again, and I'm gonna give you a slice of Terry's special pain cake. And you won't for seconds of that.